Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets as a database to populate data in your prototype. So as you can see here, I have this prototype, which is a card maker so that you can select different types for your gift card. And also with different cover of your gift card, you have uh, some placeholders for your card title and messages so that you can send it over to your friends. Um, but I want to tell you is that um, everything you see here, for example, these images and these placeholders are actually not saved in this prototype. So if you look at this prototype, um, you can see everything here is just a placeholder. Um, there's nothing, there's no images in it. Um, for these placeholders, these are not dynamic yet, just yet in, in Studio. So if I preview this prototype, well, nothing is showing up and uh, these placeholders are just uh, a fixed content. But what I'm doing here is actually I'm loading all of my data into this prototype from a spreadsheet, from a Google Sheet. So you can see here I have three columns standing for images, title, and a message. So for these images, these are just a URL of a image that I found online. This is from Freepik. So you can see there uh, watermark on it. So for each of these images, just same. I just uh, find some nice pictures online and uh, get the URL of the image and I put into this column. And for the title and messages, these are just uh, the placeholders that I want to show up for different kind of cards. So. Let's see, the first one is great job, second one is happy Valentine's Day. So you can see um, everything is matching with what I have in this brushing. So how did I do this? I'm actually using uh, Protopy Connect to get all the data. So Protopy Connect is a extension to Protopy where you can um, have a prototype communicate with third party technologies, for example, APIs. So I'm running this Pi in Protopy Connect. At the same time, I'm running an API plugin to communicate with uh, Google Sheets. So I set up everything here. I'm running this. Um, I'm running this plugin. So every time I load this prototype in my browser, that these data will populate into my um, prototype here. So the prototype. Um, it's set as like a template and we use data to fill in everything. So let's look at this API I'm using here. So luckily this is all free. So if you, as long as you have a Google account, then you can use this API just for free. So you look for a Google Workplace and then Google Sheets. Uh, this API is called Sheets API. The endpoint I'm using here, so if you um, look up here, spreadsheets, values, and you look for this get. So this is what I'm using here. It's basically an HTTP request with the get as method and also this endpoint. Um, there are a few things you want to fill up uh, in this URL. The first is spreadsheet ID. Um, so for each um, Google Sheet, actually it has a spreadsheet ID. So how can you find, how can you find it? It's very easy. So if you look up, look at the URL of this spreadsheet and you look for this letter D, D slash. So whatever that comes after this slash until the next slash. So this um, bit of text is your ID of this spreadsheet. So you just copy this ID and you can fill up in here with your actual ID. So um, this is also very convenient on Google because you can actually test your API right over here. So you can just fill in. So this is my ID. And for the range, um, it has a very detailed documentation uh, for you to understand how you can write your range. But uh, this is very simple. As long as you have some basic knowledge about Excel or spreadsheets software or Google Sheets, then you will understand how to do that. Usually it's just a range from the first cell um, to the last, uh, last cell there you 
uh, want to cover in this range. But also what you can do is you just you can just uh, say sheet one. So everything that is included in this sheet will be uh, covered um, by this API request. So in my example, I'm going to use sheet one. These are two only two necessary parameters. There are a few optional ones. So you can look over here to understand what they mean, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, it's too complicated for my case. I will just need to use the sheet, spreadsheet ID and the range. That's enough for me. So what you can do here is you can execute um, this uh, request. It does have uh, ask you to log in your Google account. So I will just do it real quick. And then you will see this. So it will tell you that you're running this successfully. You're getting all the data. So it does look um, kind of overwhelming a little bit, I would say, um, because this data is in JSON format. Well, it's not that readable, but uh, you get the idea that this data is essentially identical to what I have in this spreadsheet. It's just a uh, um, format in a different way that is less readable. But um, don't worry, you get everything in spreadsheets here. Um, so when we configure our API key, uh, our API plugin, so this one is what I have. So you just need to match this with um, here, what the document says. So with this method, which is get, and we fill up in this URL. Uh, we do need to replace these uh, parameters to our own. So if I can show you here, I have my spreadsheet ID, which is this. I have my range, which is sheet one. Um, the one last thing, which is very important because um, it's not a open free API. Uh, it, it is free, but it's, um, uh, um, it's it's always come along with uh, your Google account, so you have to sign up for a key, but it's free. Um, so last thing you need to do is you have to attach your key at the end of this URL. So I have already done that. So this is the URL that I can request all the data in my spreadsheet. So if I just uh, simply do it in my browser, um, you can see everything that is in here. Um, basically, it's just a uh, essentially the same thing as you can see here, but then you can request it from the browser as well. So with everything that's set up, you can activate this plugin, and also you can set up how you want this data to communicate with your prototype, with what kind of message to trigger um, this API request, and uh, with what kind of message to pass all of the data back to our prototype. So you gotta set up these things on your prototype as well. So after everything is set up, um, then you have this. So once you load up the prototype, you will have all the data populated uh, into your um, prototype. So this is quite handy because now you no longer need to uh, replace each of these images one by one in your design. You don't have to copy and paste all of these text content into your design as well. So it does. It gives you a very neat way of managing your data. All of your data is in this spreadsheet. If I want to change a picture, I can simply change it from here. If I want to change some placeholder text, I can simply change it from here. So what I mean is, if I change this to well done, then what happens here is, I can just uh, refresh this um, prototype and if I click on the first one, now it's, it becomes well done. So you can simply change any data here and it will be reflected um, automatically in your prototype. So that's it about this demo and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.